What's up guys and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to talk about elementary OS and I will show you desktop, file manager, finder, app store and other stuff and I will show you how to install apps and maybe some more stuff and why I think it is awesome and why should you look at Linux in general. Let's do it guys! Main point why this video. As you may know, Adobe send notifications to their customer to stop using old Adobe products. Otherwise they will face sue by third party. And then I heard from the news that Google will not provide no more updates to Huawei Android devices. Then I realized that well, I need an alternative for my Huawei phones and my PC, my operating system and Adobe suites. Well, what is better than Linux for my PC? And maybe there will be a good alternative for mobile too in the near future. Those things worried me and that's why I'm looking for another solution for my problems. First of all, I'm using Hackintosh and I like minimum errors like virus on my system. Using Mac gives me minimum problems but the main problem is sometimes it takes a lot of time to install and configure the Hackintosh on non Apple device such as Hackintosh PC. With Linux you don't need that, you just install. Second, almost everything on Linux are free, even the OS is free and much safer than Windows and Mac. Third, if you care about your privacy, then you should using Linux. You own it and no one has permission to collect your data. You may know that in Windows they can do that. So guys, it's your turn and your choice to break the chain from your neck. What is limitation of using Linux? Well, there are a few. If you're coming from Windows or Mac and you are using Adobe Suite like Photoshop, Premiere, After Effects, so you will be, you know, those things not working on Linux. But there are some alternative for, you know, Premiere and After Effects. So it's DaVinci Resolve and it is free and there is also paid version so you can look at it second games you may find that some games you are playing on windows can't be played on linux but developers working on it you know you can install steam and there are plenty of games you can play but maybe some of them you cannot and three so some specific app not working on Linux yet. You know, as mentioned, Adobe not working. Some big DAWs like Pro Tools, Studio One, they will not work. Maybe in the future, but not now. So if you are going to install Linux and using for, you know, as a primary system, then you have to think about that. Okay guys, now here the desktop of elementary. So it looks like Mac OS Mojave. And this is the finder, it calls files. You click on this and you go to this. Home with your desktop, document, downloads, music, pictures, public, snap, templates and videos. So you have all your recent desktop documents music if you have pictures you know download trash file system and other devices here and network is here too so this is the finder an application is on the top left corner 
so you can see the list of allocations you have you can have it in two ways view by category here so it's categorized and here is free so you can just scroll and here you can see the app center in the app center you find almost everything free so here for example we are going to download some kind of audio productions app we click on audio here and the list of all apps is here here says two dollars but it's almost is free guys is uh, you know if you want to pay if you have money you can pay them as you know as much as you want otherwise you can just write zero and click enter it will be free here are a lot of programs go click and go home you can see python here monitor you know some kind of monitoring uh, task manager and a lot of programs guys i cannot go and uh, show you all the programs here but you will find it yourself then uh, you know graphic videos system office and if you want to uninstall a program you just click on installed here so you will see all your application here and then you just click on one of them which the one you want to uninstall and click on install it's very easy you can install another app store too i have another from gnome apps you just click on another one you will see another app store guys so you have a you know you have too many options in Linux and almost all of them are free so what else here are the settings you guys you see printer power user account everything it's just like you know OS X I think telegram you can find it words it we don't have words on linux but uh, there there are alternatives open office the library office or libre office i don't know what you call it and this wps office it looks like you know microsoft office and it's working very fine Here I'm showing you how you can change your themes. In my case, I have elementary OS. So in your case, maybe it's different. So you have to find yourself. So I have now a standard themes, a standard elementary themes. So I will change it to uh, Mojave OS X. So I hope you enjoy this. Thanks for watching guys and see you in the next video. Peace.